you could build an entire campus out of a wild grass from your backyard, and it would only take three to four years for each of those poles to mature, and yet these buildings can last decades or even centuries. This means something to the kids. Kids who are in those buildings feel anything is possible in the future. What was important was the engineering to create these arches that spanned a distance that hadn't been possible in bamboo before and could have easily been done with trusses. was engineered on the spot. And it was not something that could possibly have happened going through regular channels of years of engineering and approvals. But it was really important to make it beautiful and give it a feeling more than a roof. The way that each piece of bamboo is connected to each other was a very careful study and development that we had to invent for the first time. We did test models in order to understand the strength of the material while we were building it almost. The way that we planned the openings in the building is to do with the way that the wind needs to go through and the way that we want the sunlight to gently glow in to avoid glare. You don't feel like blocked in, you've got the wind, you've got the breeze rushing through and you've still got that connection, you can still see outside. In the case of a big storm with winds or in the case of an earthquake, actually what we need isn't strength, it's flexibility. The natural flexibility within the bamboo itself, as well as the thinking and the logic of the way we've arranged all of the components of the building will allow for the building to bend and dance a bit rather than crack under pressure. Bamboo really is the future. So it's really about growing your architecture rather than tearing things down to build it is the beginning of a revolution. Mm -hmm.